shall be found in the 16th chapter of Luke. Amen. And so that that was really good. And something that happened, it wasn't perfect. Right. It really happened. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's let the people get a little better acquainted with you folk. Tell us about where your church is and how long you've been there and whatever else you want to tell them. We've been there since 1972, since the market. Uh, we're located just off 801 on Whispering Oaks Road, Moorhead, Kentucky. And uh, we're a full gospel non-denominational church. There's only one church anyway. And we're all going to the same place, uh, either heaven or hell. And if we know Jesus, the blood of Jesus, we can go to heaven. But if we don't confess him and forgive our brothers and sisters their sins, just Jesus won't forgive us. And we we appreciate everybody, appreciate We got coming up, Mama. Well, we've got a lot of as usual. But I was going to say, too, it's right off of exit 133 off of I-64. We're only about probably a mile and three quarters off of that exit, so we're very handy for people all around from different mm -hmm. areas to, that they can come to our church very simply. It's, it's a very simple way to go. And I'd like to say I appreciate Sister Margaret pushing this program out. And a lot of people don't have no other means of hearing the gospel. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's needed. And, and it, there's a lot of people this stands between them and hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what it is. But you know, we had such a good time. That's what I can't understand sometimes. A servant God, it, uh, since I got saved to me, that's when I really found joy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you think you're having fun out there doing different things, but whenever you really find Jesus sweet to your heart, you know, in your soul, that's really when you start having a good time. I mean, you can lay down at night and you don't have to worry about where am I going or whatever. You know you're going to heaven if you've made things right with the Lord. But uh, he was wanting to know about the things we've got going on. We have got uh, like uh, a fish fry and... Uh, I camp out, and it's Labor Day weekend, yes, and uh, fourth, it's the 4th, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the 4th, I wrote this down there somewhere. But the the 4th of September is the fish fry, and I we usually start about 5 o'clock in the evening uh, doing the fish. Gospel singing. All preaching. kinds of stuff. Yes, sir. Camping out. Um, we all kinds. I mean, uh, you don't have to clean up. You just go around there, which we do. A bunch, of, bunch of dirty people, I call it. We go around there, you know, with the old... Uh, Kulaks or uh, knee breeches or whatever, and you have fun serving God, you know, and having fun together. And uh, then Tommy Bates will be with us on Friday, September the 17th at 7 p.m. Then we've got Daryl Huffman, and that's uh, Sunday, uh, September the 26th, uh, 11 uh, a.m. and 6 p.m. service. So he'll be with us both services that uh, that day. Yeah. And. Uh, we're just looking forward to a good crowd and good services, and and we just invite everybody out to be with us. We, uh, if they come, we tell them like this: if you come and you don't like us, go somewhere where God sends you, whatever, whatever. But come and try us out. And if you, you know, if you like us, well, you're welcome to stay. <laughs> That's really, really good and very, very frank. And, and you know, that's what people do. You know, if they go and. They, but then usually they go away miffed, but yeah. you're giving them permission not to come back if they don't like to. That's right. right. They don't like it. They don't have to go back. That's right. But oh. people come in the door, you know, they'll come in the foyer, and they say what a love they feel because we do got that bunch of people, and we've got uh, people that they couldn't be here, you know. They're just sweetest people about that you'll ever meet. I mean, I think. Of course, I might be a little precious. <laughs> but they have they have a couple of good leaders here, so that's that makes a big difference. <laughs> Can I see that? <laughs> and that's what makes the difference. And so, well, uh, what are the times of your services? Maybe we better tell them that. Sunday morning, Sunday school is ten. Morning worship is eleven fifteen, and Sunday night is six p.m. And then Wednesday night seven p.m. Then Friday night. We have a youth service for the youth, and also on Wednesday night. God's blessed us with a facility, 17.4 acres. Every building we got for church is uh, 48 by 82 story, plus a 24 by 34-year going in. Then the fellowship hall is 39 by 77. The gym is 40 by 80. The youth music room is 14 by 20, 20. And then we have also a game room for the 
the elderly people. Uh, 18 is, 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 it's 18 by 28, and then we got a shelter that is 36 by 80. And the thing about it, Sister Margaret, everything is debt free. We don't owe a dime because because the people believe in paying their tithes. They know they they're not robbers. But the Bible tells me that if you don't pay your tithes, you're a robber. Say, so, preacher, talk about money. No, God talks about money. If you was in the Old Testament, you couldn't come to God without bringing an offering. You had to bring an offering. And it's still the same today. You've got to present yourself. All inacceptable. Many times people do think that they're being slighted, but they have kept their tithes. They don't even offer to pay them. Yeah. And so then they wonder why they're not being abundantly blessed. Well, God can't bless a thing. No. And is this no. the church that should pay the tithes for that? Well, that's, that's uh, I Yes, sir. I, that's true. Yeah. If they're, yes. Wherever you're yes. being fed from, yes. I mean, where, I think. Yes. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. The Bible. Yeah. And then that was the way they financed everything, you know. Yeah. And so, well, it just mm -hmm. and it makes it so much better. You don't have to... Somebody, all time. somebody said, well, brother, that's not in New Testament. Wait just a minute. The book of Malachi, if you read it, it talks about us being kings and priests and us coming back to rule and reign with him. There ain't another book in the, in the, I'm persuaded that may be a New Testament book. And if it ain't, go to Matthew 23 and 23 when he asked Jesus, what ought we do? He said, you ought to have done this, not left the other undone. Don't leave your tithes off. You ought to have done the other and read uh, Hebrews chapter 7 and 1 Corinthians and read all of it and put it together. And somebody says, I thought, no, well, well, time out. It's all God's Word. From Genesis to Revelation, it's all God's Word. And God said, you went away from mine ordinances. And God made that ordinance permanent. And it wasn't just for them. And somebody said, well, that was for Israel. Wait a minute. Let's go to 6th chapter of the book of Romans and said we're all baptized into the body of Christ and there's neither Jew nor Greek, male nor female, we're all one. And how are you going to deny when you've been put into the body of Christ? How are you going to say, well, I ain't supposed to do this. You've got to do what the body does. You know, I believe you could preach in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, God uh, uh, back in February, I broke my ankle. And I done it up a good job. I done both sides, and and uh, I just got it uh, out of the boot just about a week ago. And that's why I'm kind of hobbling around, but I'm a hobbling around. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> I got a good, I got a good help. Fifty-six years. God, just fifty-six. <laughs> That's great. Well, it's it's always a, a pleasure to get to talk and visit with you too, because you're you uh, are very much alive for the Lord. Amen. And I like that. I like that, and I, I appreciate all you've said. And so, um, God's blessings is resting upon your yes. uh, ministry there, because you tried to do what He yes. has said yes. to do, and that's that is great. We are blessed with a spirit-filled rabbi that believes in Jesus coming to our church. And, and uh, he said, he said God sent me here. He said, you started bothering me. And Brother Joe, one of our ministers, he said, you started bothering me. And he said, then God started fooling with me. And he said, you go over there. Because he said, they're telling the people there's only one body. There's only one way to me. And Jesus is the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right, that's Praise a, God. All right. Well, listen to this. Uh